All right, here's pumping with Kristen. <laughs> all right, so here is your Spectre pump. Um, I'm gonna go through all the settings with you that the lactation consultant went through with me. Um, but I just wanna show you here, this is the light, which I always use because it's kind of hard to see the screen sometimes. Um, your power button, your um, this button with the waves on it is how you change from expression mode to stimulation mode. It's just two settings, very simple once you get the hang of it. Um, on the left is cycle and on the right is your vacuum, up and down. Um, you'll notice the two holes here in the front. Um, when you're pumping on one side, you use one hole. Bless you. You okay? Um, tubing goes into the hole for suction and for the vacuum. So you just attach one side of the tubing into the hole, um, like that. Now, if you're pumping on one side, you leave the other hole covered. It won't work um, if you have that open, um, because it just won't suction properly. If you do both sides at one time and you have one of those bras where you can you know, not have to hold on to both sides, um, then you can use your second tubing and plug that into, just take the rubbery piece off and plug it into the hole. The tubing never gets washed, you'll ruin it. Okay, so that's really the only piece that you can't wash besides the pump itself. Um, that's that. What I, With the tubing, you'll notice kind of like, I feel like, um, Stuff gets stuck to it, it's that material, but that's okay. You can just wipe it down on the outside if you want to. Um, I'm gonna send you the picture of everything that the lactation consultant told me. I wrote down while I was about to get discharged from the hospital. Um, so this is like all the settings and all the little notes that she told me, I'll send to you and we'll go through it all. Um, to the other side of the tubing now, you um, will plug your put together flange. So the flange is next. Um, this is where the milk will go into here. You'll see it dribble in there um, in the beginning. When you're first pumping, you may not notice too much milk, but eventually you'll notice it sprays through there. The milk goes down into this chamber and um, into the duct bill, which you attach underneath on this hole. Um, the milk will then go into the duct bill and open and close into the bottle. This is the Amazon version of the Spectra bottle. Both of my, or however many I get, are being used in the fridge right now. Um, but I'm going to show you with this one. I wanted to also say I didn't really know what this piece was for, but <laughs> that is to close it, uh, close the bottle. It just goes on top like that, and then you're closed. So the tops work for both bottles. But um, the one that I got from Amazon, this is the top. That's the seal. It's like a rubbery piece, um, which you can boil all those parts too and wash by hand with a bottle brush. And that's how you close that. I usually just label the front and then you see the measurements in the back. So next to your flange piece is when I attach the bottle, just like that. Um, and then you're set for the flange and the bottle. The piece that makes it a closed system is, or the pieces are these three. Um, I had to like Google and YouTube how to put this together because I'm doing that throughout my whole learning experience, Googling and YouTubing stuff, but um, it's probably self-explanatory to other people, but not me. So you have three pieces. There's a bigger plastic piece and a smaller plastic piece. The smaller one is where the rubbery piece um, goes on to, you just put it on like that, nice seal. And then the bigger piece, it just goes right, right over it like that. You'll notice that it has um, a, a thinner end and a thicker end. The thinner end is where you put your tubing into, like that. So like I was saying, this is what makes it a closed system, which is what I, I love, one of the main things I love about the Spectra. Um, you'll notice that after a couple uses, you'll have some moisture in this chamber here. That's when you need to wash this piece. 
every other piece, obviously besides the tubing and the pump, needs to be washed after every session. Um, but this one is something, after I did some reading, is you don't need to wash it until there's moisture in there. Um, so that's good. That's one less thing you have to do every time. But um, this thicker end piece then goes, attaches to your flangen bottle. And that's it. Now you're set to go. Um, so for attaching this to you for pumping, um, you just want to make sure that your nipple is centered in this hole here. So that's, you know, you'll have it just like that and you'll hold on to it. And again, if you have one of those bras where you can be handless, that's fine. Otherwise you hold it the whole time and you control the pump with your other hand when you have to go from one setting to the other. Um, so I'm going to go through the settings with you that the lactation consultant told me. You turn it, um, when you turn it on, it's going to be in expression mode, but you're always going to start in stimulation mode to get the milk stim stimulated, right? To get your breast stimulated to give you the milk. So turn it on and switch over to stimulation mode. For stimulation mode, you want to have your cycle setting on 70. That's the setting on the left and your vacuum setting on three. Um, after like two months, I wanna say, I bumped up my vacuum to four. You can just hear the difference with that. It's just like a little bit, a little bit more of a suction. So once your milk's really coming in and you're doing good, you're gonna, you can mess around with the settings a little, but I really stayed with the initial settings for like the first at least month and a half, two months that the lactation consultant told me. Um, so that is your settings for stimulation, which is what you're gonna switch right over to when you power on. Um, the other setting, the expression mode, is when you're gonna be really getting the milk out. You can hear it go back and forth. That setting should be 46 on the cycle she told me 45 or 46, depending on which version of the pump I have, but um, my version is 42, 46, or 50. So 46 is what I went with with the cycle and the vacuum of seven on the right. Um, so those are the settings that you keep it on. When you first turn it on, um, like I said, switch over to stimulation mode and you're going to have that attached for two minutes in stimulation mode. And then after two minutes, push the wave button and you'll go to expression mode for three to four minutes. Same thing, when you're done with that, two minutes, three to four minutes. Um, you do that for three rounds, so 15 minutes basically, 15 to 20 minutes. So two minutes stimulation, three minutes, um, expression, two minutes stimulation, three minutes expression. So two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Oh, I missed something. Two, five, seven, 10, 12, 15 minutes is what you'll kind of go by. Um, she also told me that after day four to five, you can switch, um, you, can, you can move up to 20 minutes of pumping. I really don't unless I'm not really, if I don't have a lot in the bottle, I'll try to sit for 20 minutes, but it's really hard to sit that long. <laughs> um, so I still only do usually 15 minutes of pumping. And um, in the beginning, I think I got like maybe an, an ounce to two ounces when I first started. Now I'm anywhere from three and a half to five ounces, which is what he takes each feeding. So I'm fine with that. Um, she had said in the beginning, it was normal to get only four or five mLs, which is just a little... A little bit um, I still froze it all because I didn't want to waste anything but um, and then she had said by the end of three weeks is when you can start pumping and having dad supplement I think we waited until four weeks three to four weeks and uh, before he got his first bottle but you can start pumping if you want to um, if you're engorged or if you're full and uncomfortable you can pump and freeze it um, freezer the regular fridge freezer it's good for three to four months she told me and then in the deep freezers they're good for six months to a year um she had told me the refrigerator milk is good for five to eight days 
everything else I read online was four days, so I kind of just go by that. And then I know we've talked about like smelling it and if it's sour like regular milk, then you know, you know, it's no longer good. Um, and then for warming up, you, um, you can just run it under warm water or you can use one of those bottle warmers and follow the instructions for that. That's what we use. Um, and then when you're taking your system apart, um, you just undo the bottle. Be careful not to drop. Nobody likes spilled milk and you definitely have cried over the spilled milk. I have. Um, just put the top on, label it, put it in the fridge, or just directly pour this into the uh, lanolin or whatever brand you have, freezer bags, seal them, label them, and put them in the freezer. I take apart each piece and I just kind of um, rinse it under warm water and then um, I'll usually let it just soak in a bot in, um, a bowl of our good soap and soapy water, hot soapy water, and I'll whenever I get to it, I'll, I'll wash it with the bottle brush. But you just throw them all, you know, in soapy water and when you have time, wash them. I think that's it. I'll send you over the picture now and let me know if you have any questions.